welcome to the Flat Track Factory. In the next couple of videos, we have with us again, Davey Durrell from Durrell Racing Products, here to answer some of the questions that you guys put in the comment section below the other videos that we had with Dave. If you're coming here from the card that I put up in the question and answer video, many of the questions that were asked are answered with this uh, drawing and description. If you're new to suspension geometry, this will cover some of the basics that you hear over and over, rake, trail, and how these things interact with ride heights and all that sort of stuff. It's a good basic description done by one of the nicest and most knowledgeable guys in the flat track paddock. Check it out. Viewers have uh, uh, wrote into Mike and asked about leading axle forks versus centered axle forks. Why do people run R6? Why are they most common? How come nobody runs inverted? There's lots of questions along that line. Uh, first, I thought I'd just go ahead and tackle kind of the, the leading axle, centered axle uh, issue or what people want to talk about or what you want to um, consider. Um, you know, most, most bikes are you know, set up at a steering rake at anywhere from 24 to 26 degrees. And there's no magic number there. Um, the uh, offset on triple clamps for just a standard um, flat track centered axle fork is in the average maybe 60 millimeters of offset. That's going to be from the center line of your steering stem to the center line of your front forks. Now when you draw your forks down, say these are centered axle forks, your steering rake is at whatever it is your trail number is going to be this imaginary line that protrudes down to the ground this is our ground and this is the front axle and it's a vertical line down to the ground this is trail and this is well documented on many books it's everywhere everybody should know this um, now you have motocross forks with triple clamps that have less offset. Now your forks come down here and you have a leading axle. You have a boss that comes out and it has your axle in front of the forks. Now, very well, these could very well be in the same spot. So does it matter if you have a centered axle fork or a leading axle fork? I don't think so. To me, your forks are just connecting this pivot point of a steering, your steering stem to your front axle. Now, whether these forks go this way or they're out here and they come down to this down here, it doesn't matter. I don't think. And so bottom line is what are you going to end up with trail? And that's the number that you're changing, either adding trail or subtracting trail, depending on what you want to achieve and what you want the bike to be able to do. We have our steering rake, we have our offset, and we're running MX forks. So they don't have, most MX forks, most guys run in stock, stock triple clamps, so you don't have that adjustability. But you want to be able to change your trail. The only way you can do that is by changing the steering rake. You can decrease it or increase it. If you're going to increase the rake, meaning it's going to be more like this in an exaggerated form, now your forks are these are your new forks. And this is your new rake going down to the ground. Now you can see how much greater that is to that in trail. So we know that by increasing our rake, or I'm sorry, yeah, increasing our steering rake, we're going to increase trail. So if you can't do it in your triple clamps and you're trying to adjust the chassis, then you have to go down on the rear shock. 
and vice versa if you want to decrease your trail and steepen the steering rake then you would go up on the shock length to be able to change your steering rake in order to change your trail. So the trail is the key to make the bike turn, how to make it do what you want to do, um, and, and all that varies depending on track and track conditions and radiuses of the corners, traction level of the dirt, you know, the, 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 uh, the variables are, are, uh, are quite large. So there's lots, of go lots going on, lots to, to take into consideration as you're making these changes.